episode. Embrace the journey. You know, I be having consultation with people and they be going through a lot. They all going through a lot. Mostly everybody is going through some breakups, some heartbreaks. And let me just say something. You can watch all the videos about getting dumped. You can watch all the videos about heartbreak. You won't get over a heartbreak in one day. If you was in a relationship with someone for a couple of years or a couple of decades, you're not going to get over that breakup in a day. If you are unhealthy, if you are unhealthy, you will not become healthy in a day just because you ate some motherfucking salads and some goddamn carrots. Just because you try to overdose on some goddamn vitamins and green tea will not make you healthy overnight. If you overweight and you start working out, motherfucker, you're not going to get in shape in a week, in a motherfucking day. God damn it, it's all about the journey. It's all about being consistent. A lot of times, guys, they come to me and they say, swag boy, how do I really know if I'm red pill or not? Because I thought I was a red pill individual, but I really wasn't. See, a lot of y'all, y'all ain't really red pill men. You just red pill fans. Let me say it again. A lot of y'all are not red pill men. You're just red pill fans. What I mean by that, a lot of you niggas just like listening to red pill videos about how to uh, 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 be in control of a, of a relationship. You like to listen to videos about how to get over or uh, like get over a heartbreak. But see, all you niggas ain't nothing but red, red pill fans because you niggas don't utilize the information that you get in. You niggas just listen to red pill videos for entertainment. You niggas don't utilize that. You know how? You know you niggas are not red pill until a bitch walk out your life and you let her walk out your life. You are not red pill until you got dumped by a bitch. And instead of you chasing that bitch, you moving on. See, a lot of you niggas, you call yourself red pill, but you ain't red pill. You ain't red pill because when a bitch tell you she don't want to deal with you no more, you start chasing her ass. You, you, you start stalking her ass. You start to make her feel sorry for your motherfucker ass. Nigga, you ain't red pill. How you red pill and you putting the bitch first? How you red pill and instead of you working out being productive, the bitch is your priority. Getting bitches is your goal. See, 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 getting bitches should not be your goal. Being productive should be your goal. Being self-sufficient should be your goal. It's all about the motherfucking journey. You're not going to learn this shit overnight, but you got to embrace the journey. You got to embrace the ups and downs that comes with this shit. But see, you know what I learned about being motherfucking red pill? What I learned about being motherfucking red pill is that I develop a thick skin. <laughs> yes, I develop a thick skin. That's what the red pill journey has done for me. See, see, I look at all of my losses that I took in relationships. And I learn from them. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's like I got a I got a memory book in my brain about all the relationships that went bad and I learn from them. That's what makes me red pill. Experience will make you red pill. See a lot of you all, you talking about cutting a bitch off that you don't like. That's easy. Cutting a bitch off that you don't like is not be you is not you being red pill. Cut a bitch off that you really like. Cut a bitch off that you really love. Cut a bitch off that you lust over. Now you red pill, nigga. You know why? Because you put your morals before your hormones. Because now you got your 
big head thinking for yourself instead of your little head thinking for yourself. It's all about the fucking journey. See, the journey is what makes you red pill. The journey is what makes you great. It's the stuff you learn throughout the journey getting to the promised land. See, when you start working out, you got to embrace the journey because now you're learning. You're learning how to exercise. You're learning how to eat right. You're learning. So stop calling yourselves really true to the red pill game when you're just students of the red pill game. That's what you are. You're students of the red pill game. And stop expecting success just to come the next day. You got to work for success. You got to earn success, nigga. So once you get it, you want to appreciate it. Not only will you appreciate it, it's going to make you want to keep it now. So let me tell you something about that thing called success. Because a lot of people, they ask me, they said, Swag, like what do you do? Do you drink? Do you smoke? I said, I don't do nothing. I don't smoke. As far as drinking, every now and then I might have a little wine cooler, something like that, but nothing, nothing too hard. You know, you know what my drug is? My drug is success. Success is my drug because once you attain success, it's addictive. Once you obtain success, it is addictive. That feeling you have of accomplishment, the joy that you have when you say, I did it. The relief, the glory you, you, you have when you say, I came, I saw, I motherfucking conquer. God damn, that's addictive right there. So that's my motherfucking drug, and that should be your motherfucking drug. Success should be your motherfucking drug, but success don't come easy. You gotta work for it. You gotta strive for it. Put an obstacle in front of me. I'm gonna overcome that shit. That's what makes you red pill. A lot of you motherfuckers got an obstacle in front of you right now. That obstacle called heartbreak. Right now. A lot of you niggas watching my videos, you got an obstacle in front of you right now called a heartbreak. Right now, I want you to make that obstacle called a heartbreak, yo bitch. Make that obstacle called heartbreak, yo motherfucking bitch, nigga. Overcome that shit. And watch how good you feel. See, see, I was in your shoes before, niggas. I know what it's like to get heartbroken. I know what it's like for a girl that I love to walk out of my life. I know the pain. I know it's hard to let go. Nigga, I know letting go is so hard. Letting go of a bitch that you love is so hard. Brothers, I feel your pain. But you gotta do it. You gotta let that bitch go. And just embrace how you feel at the time when you gotta let that bitch go. You feel bad inside. You feel bad inside. You want that pain to leave. But you got to overcome that pain. You got to keep moving. And then once you finally over that bitch. When you can see that bitch. And you don't want that bitch. That's when you can say I did it. I did it. I'm finally over that bitch. It ain't nothing like being emotionally attached to a motherfucker. That you can't have nigga. And it's tough. But I'm telling you right motherfucking now, if you believe in yourself, you can do it. But you gotta remember, getting over a bitch will not happen overnight. I don't care what Dayton Co. says, you can buy a consultation from him. He'll teach you how to get over your ex in one day. I don't want you doing that 30 day no contact. No, fuck that. It's a motherfucking journey. So in closing... What I want you niggas to do is embrace the motherfucking journey, nigga. Embrace the journey of overcoming obstacles. Because that's what's going to make you great when you get to the promised land. Stop looking for the shortcut to motherfucking success. Ain't no motherfucking shortcuts to success. Embrace the goddamn journey and make any obstacle your motherfucking bitch. And that was today's episode. Like, uh, comment, subscribe.
<laughs> and I'ma catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello. <laughs> my ass is